Where are we? A favorite place you've never been to before? Yes. Yeah. Hey. You hungry? Munch? You, you want to have a snack? Yeah. Starbucks? Let's see what we got here, lads and ladies. We're on a trip to the Children's Museum. And two of three children fell asleep on the way here. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Felix, and Augie Bean, who's still sleeping. Um, so we stopped at Starbucks to get snacks and beverages because we're bougie like that. I got a venti, sweet cream, cold brew. There is no sweet cream. They forgot to put the sweet cream on my cold brew. It's still good. It's just a little disappointing. There's that. Other things that are disappointing. I will be recording all of this on my phone because I brought my camera, but I did not bring an SD card because I'm a genius. Other, other things that are disappointing. The Joey 2 dropped today. I put it in my cart. I floundered around looking at covers. I checked out. It was sold out. Within minutes. To say I'm disappointed is an understatement. So I shall try again when the next Joey 2 drops in two months. We're gonna eat our snacks. And then we're gonna go inside and I will record what I can record and we're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Oh, Casper, it's so big. That's fun. Oh, this is so freaky. Yeah? Yeah, this is all freaky. I think it's super cool. This is freaky. Fluorescent minerals. Look at this. Can you do it? Press the button, buddy. Oh, wow. So cool. <laughs> What's this, Kathy? <laughs> I see shoe, shoe prints, so. Pardon? see shoe prints, so. Get a brush, bud. Get a brush. Just grab one, doesn't matter. Dust off some fossils. Sometimes dangerous places. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Dead skeleton. <laughs> That's so scary. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Mom, look over there. Yeah, I see it, buddy. What's this way? Well, friends, it's officially the end of summer. We're done our first week back at school, just a half a week. And it's starting to cool down in the mornings. So summer is ending. Fall is rolling in very slowly. To round out the end of summer, we decided to take the boys on a trip to the Children's Museum in the next city over. And it was an absolute blast. 
Casper had such a good time learning and exploring, getting into mischief. Felix really enjoyed being able to just run amok and find lots of buttons to press and things to get into. Augie was a champ in the carrier. All in all, it was an exhausting day, but a very fun day. And it was really only like 40 minutes from home, so it wasn't a terribly long drive, which was great. The previous day, we had driven out to the hospital um, in Hamilton for me to get my pacemaker checked. Happy to report that I still have approximately seven years of battery life left, so that's really reassuring. Um, And then we continued our drive that a direction to go visit my mom and dad, who we hadn't seen in a little bit. And then this day, we decided to surprise the boys with a trip to the museum. So they had no idea we were going. Casper figured we were going to the hospital again, because that seems to be the only place we ever drive to these days. So he was pretty happy with uh, treats from Starbucks and a trip to the museum. <laughs> That's a huge whale. Look at that. I saw it. It's huge. It's a big whale. Like the lights? Ooh. <laughs> Silly boy. Hey you! Look at you up there! Go to the window! Hi up there! <laughs> you can come down if you want, yeah, when you're ready. Turn that one. Is it a turn or a button? What do you do? I don't know. Oh, it rings the bell. Dad, hold to this. You turn it. Yeah. 
this, but you gotta turn it more. I don't know if he has the dexterity to do it. Oh my God, Peter. I thought I was too tall. I'm not, I'm not too tall. I thought I was too tall for this house. I'm not too tall for this house. There's a fireplace? Okay, Bean and I are coming. We're coming. Oh wow, there it is. Wow, look at our cool house. Dad's too tall, honey. Oh. Mom's barely just too, not, just not too tall. Yeah, he's just not too tall. And look. Wow. This is pretty darn cool. I know, should we go back down? Do you want to lead the way? Yeah. Watch this. Whoa, quite the jump. Mom's gonna have to duck. <laughs> Where's the step? Hi. I cannot believe that I am like. Oh, I guess it's good I'm not that tall. The boys had a lot of fun in this kind of like Arctic area, this Arctic zone in the museum. It wasn't very busy, which was nice. I think for the most part, we were the only group up in this area. Casper worked tirelessly at this iceberg puzzle and he was really excited when he completed it. Yeah, spoiler alert, he figured it out and he was pretty pumped about it. Otherwise, uh, it was nice that we didn't have a ton of people around to worry about, like anyone getting lost, and Felix could just kind of go crazy. And there are lots of fun activities for them to do, like pretend dog sledding, um, looking at musk ox, I think that's what Peter said they were, um, pretend ice fishing, and just like learning about all the different like super cool things that are up in the Arctic. So the boys really liked this part of the museum, and Peter and I liked it too. It was well laid out and informative and um super cool ha <laughs> see what i did there because it's the arctic like it like it's cold you know you know what i mean mom joke are mom jokes a thing i mean they are now i just made it a thing it's a thing you heard it here first did you do it dude oh my god dad come and see it you did such a good job bubba i'm impressed Mom, come behind you. Okay. There's TVs. That's the important thing, right? Yeah. Cool. Come look at these funny rope things. Or look, you can go dog sledding. You want to go dog sledding? No. Go stand on the sleigh. You stand behind it. Behind it. Yep. And then hold on. And then you have to say, mush, mush. You got to say it with, with oomph. There you go. And then they're gonna go whoop whoop and they're gonna run really fast. Hi. What about's under there? What's under the yaks? Are those yaks? Muskox. Muskox. Oh hey. You're inside a muskox. Wow. Are you dog sledding? Classic dog sledding backwards. Good job. Hello. Fishies! Casper, come on, you can come do some fishing. Look, we can do some fishing, some ice fishing. You ice fisher, we'll have to tell Grandpa that you caught a fish when you were ice fishing. Once Grandpa took Mummy and Auntie Becca and Uncle Nate ice fishing. I caught a fish. 
Okay, really, let's go up. Not that way. Go, 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 go. Let's go find Big Brother. Come on, Luch! Augie B, you're doing so good. All right, up, up, up. I see you. I see you. Come down the side. What? I'm coming. Up, up, up we go. Buttons! Casper, let him push buttons too. Are you going down with him? Oh, Mommy, a tip! <laughs> You're losing him! This is a well-used slide, guys. Hi. He went down on the slide by himself yesterday. The backyard one? Uh, no, uh, regular. So straight on the slide. Where? Oh, at the. To the windows. Yeah, to the vents. Oh, here they go again. <laughs> Look at that! Just, if you're gonna go down, let us know because Felix is on the slide, okay? I'm going down. Can I do it slow mo? All of the zones in this museum were a lot of fun for the boys, but I think that the space zone takes the cake. We were just in time for a constellation show in like a miniature um, planetarium, and it was great. The stories were fantastic and super cute for little kids. And uh, all of just the controls and the buttons and the robotics, like Casper was in absolute heaven. He had a blast in this section and really didn't want to leave. But then it was the end of the day. It was time to go. Maybe Felix wants to go in with you. Can I go in the rocket ship, Felix Kaboom? Um, oh, oh, oh. Yep. That's okay. It's still cool. Signal. Oh, I've upgraded the LEDs. Well done, well done, well done. Alright, are you excited? He can yeah, go up too. I'll be his captain. Captain, he gets to go he up the to be back. Pilot. He can go in the back. <laughs> he can go in the back. I'm the driver. I'm the driver. Hey, you. Cadets. Oh, are you finding all sorts of knobby knobs and switchy switches? Are they knobs? And switches? And buttons and lights? There's no buttons. Wow. Why are people coloring? Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> oh, Han Solo and Chewy. Who's <laughs> Buds? Which one's Han Solo? You can be Han Solo. Why? Felix, well, because Felix sounds <laughs> like Chewbacca. Gentle buddy. <laughs> Alright, so let's go see if we can find the big whale. Survived. We survived. You got a special treat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's stay close to dad. Get into the car. Hopefully you nap on the way home. Mommy is looking forward to her Starbucks. Hopefully it's still cold. There's still ice in it. There's still ice in it.
ice in it. Yeah. <laughs> ice and water. We made it. We survived. And now we're going home. It's Casper J. Paleontologist. Do you think there's a real fossil in there? Yep. Yeah? I think it's a possibility. A fossil. Dad joke for the win. It's a possibility. <gasps> you see anything yet? Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's a real one. Let me zoom in on that. Oh wow. Oh jeepers. It's not real. Are you it's sure it's not there? live? Well, no, it, fossils aren't alive, sweetie. They're, they're bones that have been buried. But maybe it's a real baby T-Rex fossil. It's possible, isn't it? It could be possible. It could be. It could be possible. Why do dino fossils so delicate? Because they've been buried under the ground for so long. You want to make sure that you don't break any of the pieces. Because it's, it's some of the only information we have of things from long ago. That was the end of our super long, exhausting day. And what made it more super long and super exhausting was the fact that we got probably, oh, close to halfway home when we realized that we never stopped at the hospital to pick up Felix's new sleeping medication that he's trying for two weeks. And we really needed it. So we turned around, we drove back to the hospital, picked up the sleeping meds, turned back around to drive home, cue the screaming because obviously that's a lot of time in the car. And we made it home and Casper got to um, be a paleontologist and he was really happy and we all survived and it was great. Thank you, Summer. It's the end now. And um, today, the day I'm recording this, Friday, the 9th is Felix's third birthday. So I'm really hoping to have a Felix update sometime soon and some party prep going on because we had to postpone his party. Thanks COVID. Thanks again.